Hey guys, Andy Elliott here. Welcome to the One Percenter Podcast. So a common comment that I see and uh, a question I get asked is, they're like, dude, Andy, are you on steroids? Or they see my energy, they see me killing it, or they see that I put on a lot of muscle, right? And that I'm in the best shape of my life at 44 years old, better shape than I was in my 20s. And people say, oh, that guy's on steroids. Dude, you have no idea what you're talking about. I'm here today with Prime Recovery and Wellness. Number one, we got Dr. Main, and I've got the owner, Matt, of the company. I wanna tell you guys something. We're gonna talk about today steroids, we're gonna talk about TRT, we're gonna talk about body wellness, and we're talking about why so many people are not going to the level in life that they want to, it's because they don't know how. But we're gonna educate them today so people can understand it, and if you wanna go to another level, and if you wanna know how I'm operating in my life, well, this is the podcast where we tell it all. Check it out. All right, guys, so here we go. Today I'm here with Dr. Mang. Doctor, say what up. Hey, guys. Um, so you're a big dude. You said you played some ball. Is that right? Uh, I played football and I was a decathlete. Okay, good. So how, how tall are you? 6'3". Six, 6'3", three. Six, three, big dude, massive dude. Okay, got Matt. Matt's jacked up. Matt, give us a bicep yes, flex. Sir. I don't even have a shirt on, but Matt is a swole killer, <laughs> takes care of his health. Um, you spent all the days of your life in health. You're obsessed with it. Total 100%. immersion, right? Absolutely. These guys are obsessed with it. He owns a TRT company um, in Kansas City, right? I think you're in many, what, 50 states? or So we're based out of Kansas City, but we're currently licensed in 38 states, soon to be 50. Guys, this is crazy. By the way, listen to me. There's going to be an opportunity if anybody watching this is not a pitch and you're like, dude, I want to know where my health is at. You guys, there's going to be a link down in the description box at any point in time as we're educating you where literally you can go. These guys do what is called telemeds. I want you to understand something. You don't have to go into a clinic. You can physically go and give your information and they meet you on a Zoom call and they will look at your blood. They will look at what's going on and they can help you without you even going into a place, which is crazy, which is what I love. By the way, I use these guys. Um, these guys changed my life. They're going to change your life. But I want to talk about um, the human body. I'm 44 years old. I want to talk about what happens with age. You've seen it with 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, all kinds of people that, you know, when they're young, they got all this energy. They're fired up. They're ready to take over the world. And then as they get older, they just slow down. A lot of them quit. You got depression all around the world. Um, you got people that are giving up. You got people that aren't hungry anymore. You got low sex drives. You got people that are tired. Everywhere I go, everybody's carrying a freaking energy drink around all day long <laughs> because they're just trying to stay up. And then I'm just kicking ass. And at 39 years old, and I'm going to hand this over to these guys, but I had, a, I had somebody ask me and they said, um, have you had blood work done? And I go, well, what do you mean? Because I'm not sick. Yeah. And they go, no, but I heard you telling that you were tired. I was telling somebody, man, I was like, I'm so tired, man. But, you know, I'm a grinder, you know, and I was like, I'm going to push through and nothing's ever going to beat me. And they're like, dude, go get your test levels checked. And I went in and I got it checked. And I remember the doctor looked at me. He goes, dude, this is not good. And like, he wasn't pitching me nothing. And from that day forward, everything in my life changed. My wife met a new man. Um, I got my testosterone back in my body where it should be. My children got a dad that was on fire. My business went to another level. I started to get healthier, man, again. And all of a sudden, I just, I felt like I was a new person again. And I want to tell anybody that's been following me or you've been watching me, I need you to understand something. I have people ask all, all the time. They're like, are you on steroids because I build a good body? I work out because now I have the energy to work out, to put the work in. I'm so, in, I'm so driven now. So these guys are going to talk about the science. Is that cool? What mm -hmm. goes on? And I'll ask a lot of questions, but I want you guys just to educate. Well, and by the way, can we start with what's the difference between steroids and, and TRT? testosterone levels in men and women. This is for also for women, am I right? <laughs> Absolutely it is. Dude, listen, I will tell you right now, I have a man that his, he's crushing it and killing it, and his wife, literally, they're on the verge of getting a divorce. And they've been at it, low sex drive, they're not close, and she went in and got her testosterone, she did, and it was off. And just the slightest little testosterone in her brought her back up. She's a fitness nut now. She's back in the gym. They're having sex every day. It's like she's a better mom for her kids. She likes who she is. Her drives through the roof. Dude, it was like they were just introduced to a whole new person. So this also works in women. For sure. Right? Um, I'm going to let you guys rip. Educate. Let's go. I'm obsessed with this part. This is, this is huge. And a lot of times we don't talk about it, but I want to start doing these monthly and I want to educate people and give people the opportunity to get healthy. 100%. No, we appreciate the opportunity to do it with you. Um, you know, just to knock out the stigma of steroids versus TRT, testosterone is 
naturally occurring in the body. So we're talking about bioidentical hormones. We're not talking about D-ball, trend, stuff like that. Those are steroids, right? Mm -hmm. Those are what you're seeing in certain sports. But everything we do is bioidentical, so it's going to be testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, stuff like that. Um, okay. We run anti-estrogens, which we talked about with some of your blood work. But it's definitely not steroids. It's naturally occurring in the body. and Because the body's already making testosterone, right? 100%. Yeah, granted, this is synthetic to the testosterone, so it's it's naturally occurring in the body. We're just re- replenishing it, right? Because right. when well, you, your body stopped making it at some point, right, or producing at, at thirty five on average at thirty five, I think it declines between two and five percent every year as you get older. So if you're comfortable with the decline, then go ahead. But that's your lip body's literally dying off. But so so why do some twenty year olds have low, really low testosterone, right? Sure. So they they just have underproduction. Talk? So you'll find some kids that basically they just don't make it from the way their brain functions with the adrenal glands and also the gonads. So those kids will come in. They may be first responders, cops. You know, it could be any walk of life, and they're symptomatic with everything that you described. Yeah, at age. So everybody, so I have a big sales channel. Now I'm not everybody sells something alike, but these guys yeah. are entrepreneurs. They're hungry men and women. They want to win. They're winners, which means they take risks. They bet the farm. They make bold moves. A lot of them take on high stress. Yeah. A lot of that high stress. Yeah, stress causes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I want you guys to understand that, like the the killer. And then what happens is you know cortisol creeps in. Your mm-hmm. testosterone's going down. When really testosterone should be going up and cortisol should be going down. You should be doing more in life and, and pushing and fighting, right? 100%. Yeah. As your cortisol levels go up, you're going to gain weight. You're going to feel less active. It just basically creates a negative effect on your body. And that's what we want to do is reverse that effect and get them back into a normal, healthy lifestyle. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And, and can you can you talk, if somebody is exercising and they just can't seem to shred the fat on their body, mm-hmm. right, things like that, a lot of the times they have, they have low test levels. Their body's not doing what it's supposed to do, right? Yeah. It's low testosterone levels. They may not have a good diet. They, they may not be all in in a program that actually helps them get that competitive edge, whether it's weight loss, muscle gain, you know, leanness, um, and improving the overall symptoms that really brought them into, you know, talking to somebody about this. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Um, one of the first things, and let's talk about some benefits of getting your testosterone right, mm-hmm. right? I mean, there's a lot of things that we can talk about, but testosterone, like at 39, it was that some people say, well, what do you take? What do you do? I went in, I got my test levels right, and I'm on fire. Yeah. I'm happier than I've ever been. There's, it's very simple. This is very simple. And you should, you should, everybody should make sure they do their blood work, which they can. They can go down and click the link. You guys will do, they'll, they'll get their blood work. You guys will check it out. You'll go over their um, labs with them, let them know where they're at, their levels are. And then if there's any improvements, what you can and can't do. Yeah, um, we're trying to optimize in the, the maximum of normal, right? We're not trying to go super physiological. That's it, yeah. Yeah, we're trying to get you up. You know, seven to hundred to a thousand range, something like that. These primary care docs think anything three hundred, two hundred is okay. That's not the case. Yeah. You know, to really feel your best, you need to be in the upper levels. And there's some guys he was mentioning, the first responders, the police. They can be even higher because they need that edge. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. twelve, thirteen hundred. I mean, that's common because those guys need it. Depending on what you do. It. Yeah, uh-huh. but it's more than just testosterone too. It's it's keeping an eye on other blood work marker, biomarkers like your estrogen. Mm-hmm. You know, if you have too high estrogen, you can cause uh, water retention, you know, it can change your mood, things like that. So it's not just one variable. Yeah. It's making sure everything's optimized equally across the board so you can function as good as possible. It's just the data to play at your best game. Dude. 100%. Right. Can we talk about mental clarity? Because I want to say something like, dude, when I got my test right, like, number one, my sex drive went through the roof. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, number two, like I was ready to go to war again. I was <laughs> like, dude, okay, wait a minute. Where has this dude been? I was introduced to a new person. Okay. Mm-hmm. One that I met when I was 16 to 18 years old. Sure. But now I'm an adult and I'm wise and I'm ready to go back at it. But my mental clarity, like I was so clear on my thinking and everything was almost like getting blurred as I get older. Mm-hmm. But like when I got my test levels right, my mental clarity went through the roof. So, like, what are some of the big benefits in somebody getting their testosterone levels right? Like, getting getting in balance with all this stuff. Like, let's talk about some benefits benefits that people miss out on, like being tired, mental clarity, higher sure. sex drive, you know, having more energy, right? Sleep patterns are going to get better is one of the first things. And if your sleep patterns 
good, mm -hmm. then that's going to affect everything else the next day between your energy levels, your concentration levels, okay, your performance at work, you know, your performance, you know, with your family as mm -hmm. well. So it's it's a maintaining that complete healthy lifestyle. Testosterone is just something that kind of gives you that edge by raising those levels and affects all the symptoms that you just described. Right. I mean, you're a perfect case study. Mm -hmm. You're look at where you're at when you were 39. Look where you're at now. Mm -hmm. You know, you can run through a brick wall. Metaphorically speaking, right? Yeah. So if, if you want an edge, this is one way to get that. Yeah. You know, it's like you you don't fuel a vehicle with improper fuel and mm -mm. expect it to run. Mm -mm. You know, we're machines just like that. We give it the proper fuel, we can get higher results. We can perform at a higher function. Brain fog is definitely real. Yeah. If you have low testosterone, you will get confused. You will have more brain fog. Uh, it's mental clarity, energy through the roof. It's just sluggish. You know what yeah. I mean? I was sluggish, man. I can. You know, I, I hear people all the time, they say, we're getting older. How old are you? Uh, 40. Yeah, we're getting older. We ain't getting older. What are you talking about? But up till 39, I would yeah. hear people say, we're getting older. And I would be like, oh, man, we're getting older. Yeah. Well, you, like, meant, you, you just mentioned, like, all the mental aspects of how that improved your game. Yeah. Okay, you got your testosterone level higher than, you know, what it was. Mm -hmm. How do you feel in the gym with your workouts? Do you feel stronger? I feel really strong. Okay. I'm 54 years old. Yeah. I feel stronger at 54, 54. than yes. I do when I was 25. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my bench numbers, everything I lift is much higher now compared to what it was when I was an athlete. And now I'm obviously not an athlete anymore. You know. Well, no, you are an athlete, man. Well, I mean, you're a big different guy. type. I'm an older athlete now, but yeah. I, I want to maintain that younger body. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so, so some benefits, right? You see people that come in, mm -hmm. the common deal when you go in to fill out your, your, uh, they say, what symptoms are you having? Sure. Right? I would say that one of the most common is sexual dysfunction. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, you know, we get guys in and we get their testosterone right, and all of a sudden they're pursuing their wives or significant other again. Saves that relationship. Mm -hmm. That's huge. In the gym, your recovery is second to none. I mean, so you get into the gym, you get sore for the I first two weeks, yeah. and then you want to quit. But with this, it'll help you recover quicker. Mm -hmm. And it also, it's not a task. You know, when your testosterone is right, when you're optimized, you enjoy it. You pursue the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to the point where I look forward to it. You're hunting. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But when you're low T, it's like, I, I will keep training if I was low T, but it's because I'm disciplined. It's not because I have the internal desire to go. It's when your testosterone is optimized that you can train hard, recover well, put on muscle mass, lose body fat, you know, the, the physical side of it's huge. It's, as freaking well as it's freaking magic, right? It really is. Like, I need everybody to understand this. This is the craziest thing, but, like, this is, like, like number one, it saved my life. And I know that sounds crazy, right? Because, you know, but if you've watched my journey, like, it saved my life. Because, number one, my wife, I wasn't being the person I needed to be for her. I wasn't being the person for my kids. I didn't have the right energy. I wouldn't be good to my team. And honestly, dude, I was just slowing down. I was doing what everyone else was doing. And the crazy thing is, is that the magic was just going and figuring out what was going on with my blood work. Mm -hmm. That was it, right? And they checked you for the right levels. If you go to like your, just your regular primary care doctor, they're going to look at basically your blood counts, your electrolytes, maybe a thyroid study. They're not checking some of these things that we check. Yeah. In order to find the root cause of this, they may put you on a pill for something you don't need. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to say this to everybody. Listen to me, guys. If you've been following me for a while... If, if you respect the way that I talk, how I, how I speak about, you know, raising our standards and, you know, living a life that counts, guys, go to the description box below. Okay, these guys are amazing. Go to the description box below. It's very simple. You just click on the link, fill out your information, and they will reach out to you. It is that easy. And by the way, like this life, this life that you want, these new results, this new lifestyle, this new body, this new mental clarity, this new mindset, this new drive... This new you, if you're ready to meet someone you've never met, just go do this. They'll let you know where you're at. And then, so you guys, the telemed part, right? Like, um, the, you have a, a physician get on a Zoom call. Is that right? Is that what we call it? will it? either be a physician or a nurse practitioner. Okay. Yeah. And they get on a Zoom call and they just walk. Can we go through that a little bit? Like, they're going to go. Clearly, the first thing they need to do is they'll go to a lab core or something around. You'll, you'll find a place. Is sure. that right? Right. They'll go give some blood. It's very simple because then you know what's going on, right? It's not one of these deals where it's like, oh, you want it? You <laughs> want it? You know, it's uh, like everybody's getting this. It's like, sure. let's see where you're at because we want to make you optimize the best of your game you not he's different than you she's different than you and by the way men 
your women, if they've been tired, just the truth, if they've been tired, if, if they're not, you know, playing their A game, I know this sounds crazy because it seems like this is something that's for men. Dude, it's for freaking women. It really is. And what some people don't know <laughs> is that during a female's reproductive years, their testosterone is even higher than estrogen. Dude, <laughs> listen, that guy that I was telling you about um, that was having problems, man, and him and his girl, she humps his brains out. <laughs> and it's like, he goes, dude, what is going on? He's like, where have you been in the last 20 years? Right. And she's, it wasn't her. No, but it, it, I say that jokingly because like it's funny or joking, but like it wasn't funny. It almost caused him a divorce. And him getting her to go was the hardest thing. I'm going to tell you the cool thing about this. Number one, a, a lot of men, a lot of women are embarrassed to walk into clinics. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's rule number one. They're embarrassed to walk into clinics, okay? Because, you know, you walk in, people are looking for you. They say, why are you here? Well, I got this problem. I got that problem. People don't like to admit they have problems. So they, gotta, gotta, they may not even open up about that. Right, but it's like, yeah, and then now you're not even telling the truth because yeah. you don't want to seem stupid. This is all done online. This is all done online. You're never going to meet someone face-to-face. You can tell the truth. You can, you know, I got erectile dysfunction. I'm just making a point. Like, whatever it is, like, just lay it out there. Why? Because, dude, that stuff can be fixed. You can literally run around and have your best life right now. Okay? I think it's disrespectful to run around. And by the way, dude, I, I know this sounds crazy, but there's a lot of people that I'm like, get in shape, get in shape, get in shape, get in shape. And there's people that have been trying their hardest to get in shape. Mm -hmm. And with their current levels where they're at, their body can't do what my body can do or that person's body can do, even though they're doing the work. They may be doing the work, but if they literally got right, their body would start operating right, and then that hard work would all pay off. I, I have to admit, if I went in the gym every day and I never saw results after a year, I probably wouldn't go back. I'd probably be yeah, screw this shit. You know, but maybe it's not, by the way, it is not your fault. Like here's the no, rule number one is that if your levels are off, it's not your fault. You're not a bad person. You didn't do anything wrong. You're not a loser. And I think there's a lot of people that when they're not getting the results they want, or they don't feel a certain way, or they're getting tired or th their drive is low, or they're like, how's that guy so much energy? Well, after a while, you just start hating on people. <laughs> You're like, screw that. They must be cheating. Nobody's cheating. Okay. People are being resourceful. Look, I, I learned this a long time ago. Rich people are resourceful and poor people aren't. Okay, poor people, they say, and by the way, I'm, I'm not against poor people, okay, because I come from a poor family. But like, they say like, oh, you can't do that, or they must be cheating, or they must, resourceful people which become rich, they're like, hey man, what is that person doing, or who do they know that I don't know? What are they doing? Well, I want you guys to know who you don't know now. Now you know these guys. Okay, so you guys can click on the link, fill out your information. You'll never see anybody face-to-face -face except on a Zoom meeting. When you do, they'll answer some questions, they'll ask some stuff, and then literally they, you mail them out everything they need, and they never have to walk into a clinic. Is that right? Correct. And, you know, we do follow-up at any time when they're ready, when the, if they want it. We have, we'll have follow-up blood work to make sure everything's staying in range. Mm -hmm. But we're a resource, not just at the beginning, but throughout the entire process. Mm, yeah, that's super important. Yeah, because... You're go Listen, I, I'm going to warn you. I'm going to warn everybody. First time I went to the gym, I got bit by the bug. I became obsessed. When I didn't go, I felt horrible because I wanted to go to the gym because yeah. I, now I know what this feels like. I never want to go without that feeling, right? We become freaks of it. We have to have it. It's a, it's a way to mental. It's our mental, it's my mental vitamin. At least I'm sure it's the same for you guys, but it's my vitamins. Okay. Um, once you understand what your best life feels like and you understand what you've been missing out on this whole time, everything becomes really clear. All the big dreams, all those things that you put aside and you quit chasing, all those things come right back up. Mm -hmm. You're like, dude, I'm going to go get that shit now. You wanna, You're like, yeah. I'm going to let it go. Yeah. You, well, I, I t you, you get introduced to a new person, mm -hmm. okay? You could be in your 20s, you could be in your 30s, you could be in your 40s, you could be in your 50s, you could be in your 60s. You could be any freaking age. And I promise you this, there's someone else that's doing life with you. And when you're sluggish and you're slow, you're slow to them, you're slow to your business, you're slow to your work. This stuff is crazy, man. 
But the, the first step is, it's not about what everything does and all the benefits of it. The first thing is, is like, fill out the information, and then you guys set up the schedule for them to go get their blood work. Is that right? Correct. Correct. And the blood work takes a couple of minutes. They send it back. Um, and I think when you, they go to it at LabCorp, do they send it back to you? Do they know where it goes, or do these people send it back? LabCorp sends it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. You go in, you take it. They know what to do with it. They send it to you guys. And then literally, um, within what, a couple weeks or a week? I they mean, less than that. I, I did blood work. Um, like Mon- Monday of last week, and I got it back in two days. Mm. So it can be really quick. And you got to remember, we're doing so much volume with LabCorp and Quest mm-hmm. that we can get you a really elaborate test for less than you can get it for yourself. Mm-hmm. So what we charge them for the blood work initially is a fraction of what you would pay to get that information. That's awesome. And by the way, it, it feels good to know what's going on in your body. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, and sometimes things are misdiagnosed. There's some guys that are just depressed. And instead of putting on an antidepressant, Maybe take a look at their low test, yeah. you know, and they get them in the gym. They start feeling good. They, you know, so get some confidence. They start seeing results and then they're proud of themselves. Mm-hmm. So there's certain things that it's like testosterone can fix and nothing against primary care docs because they do a lot of good, mm-hmm. and, but they have so many things to do. But come to somebody who specializes in this. Mm-hmm. This is what we do. That's right. You know? Yeah. And, and by the way, guys, super important. I told you this. Once you meet this new person. You're going to literally be like, Andy, I owe you millions just because I introduced you to them. Okay. Um, but the cool thing, what I love about them again, is that it's not like they own a hormone clinic that's in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I'm like, let me introduce you to my friends. And if you're ever in Scottsdale, stop by and see them. Right. You guys can do this from anywhere in the United States. Okay. So make sure you guys fill out that information. They'll, they'll reach out to you. You guys will know what's next and you guys are going to kick butt. Um, so I want to talk about like the paradigm shift that we that you guys see every day in people's lives when they get on this. Number one, I'm sure the testimonies. Like we'll talk about men for a minute, mm-hmm. but from the wives, not even the men. Yeah. Okay. The men are dying for the they're week to week. They're like, dude, I'm so <laughs> ready, baby. But the wives are like, thank you for bringing my man back home. Right. They're off the chart. I mean, we get so many responses and and testimonials from. The spouses, mm-hmm. the girlfriends. I was about to say, how spouses have like, to be going crazy. This is a guy I fell in love with. This is a guy I started my relationship with. He went away, and now he's he's freaking back. Yeah, yeah you know? and he's like 20 <laughs> times back. <laughs> exactly. Well, when they have low testosterone, too, they're not pursuing their wife. It's not the fact that they don't love that woman. Yeah. yeah. And that's what they're, the woman is receiving. They're thinking that's the case. That's not how it is. He just doesn't have that drive and that desire yeah. because his testosterone is low. You bring that back up, all of a sudden he's pursuing her again, mm-hmm. and vice versa, and their relationships like it was at the beginning. You know, it's an excellent gift. I I feel blessed to be able to. Do I love this for that a you living. called that a gift. That's awesome. It's a blessing, man. It really is. This is some it's something that we're giving these guys an opportunity to change their life, mm-hmm. and it's in ninety days you'll see a result eat faster than that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, the t- you're asking about testimonials. We get it all the time. Mm-hmm. That's the best part of this job. Granted, it's it's a lucrative business to be in. But the best part of it is seeing people change mm-hmm. and, you know, live up to their, you know, their, their ultimate potential. Mm-hmm. We're, we're not doing health care. We're improving lifestyles. Yeah, I love that. That's yeah. super important. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so talk about that for a minute. Just, this is very simple. Like, people, they invest in all kinds of things in their life, mm-hmm. right? People spend yeah. money on all kinds of stuff. This is an area yeah. that literally, when you figure out that this was the whole, the whole time, uh-huh. You can maintain this feeling, this intensity, this love, this new drive. You can, you can have it for the rest of your life. You can. Yeah. Am I right? You stay on the medication, and it's there as long as you're on it. It's the great thing about testosterone. It's basically out of your body within seven to ten days. Mm-hmm. So we're doing weekly injections. Sometimes we'll split those up during the week. Mm-hmm. But as long as you're on the medication, it's functioning. It's helping your body produce more testosterone. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if we see these guys coming in and they have the girlfriend of the female that they're having symptoms. We want them to be the power couple. Mm-hmm. Get them both treated. Mm-hmm. I mean, you think you get one fix and the other one's okay? What happens when you get both of them? It's like, get, give them the room on their own. You know? <laughs> sure. And it's going to affect every element of your life, not just your romantic life, not just your gym life. It's you're going to see yeah. it come through in, a, in your relationship. You know, if you're a man with children, maybe you're going to start playing with the kids more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you're going to, the, to work and you're working 10, 12 hour days and you're dragging ass, well, now you're going to hammer through and do 18 hour days and you're going to love it. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to start earning more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's going to come through in every part of your life, not just what you see on the surface, which is physical change. Mm-hmm. 
And and why does that physical change like happen so fast? Is and why how do your muscles start growing again and your bones get stronger and all that stuff? Is that is that test? Is that what regulates all that? It is. I mean, you're the yeah. doctor, yeah. so like yeah. I'm just so, curious, like like because my bones, because like look, my bones feel stronger, my body feels yeah, stronger, my muscles feel better, I feel increase. more vascular. It's like yeah. So another thing we look at is vitamin D levels because routinely we'll find people that have low testosterone, they have low vitamin D. Mm-hmm. And vitamin D basically affects how the body releases growth hormone, mm-hmm. which is kind of part of the whole cascade as well. So we'll supplement with vitamin D if needed. You put them on the testosterone. What that actually does is it basically it makes the body um, do protein synthesis. So mm-hmm. your body muscles are made of protein molecules. So as you increase the amount of protein in your body by intake with fuel and food, you're also utilizing that to make the body naturally produce more protein. That's what builds muscle mass, viability, to be able to contract better, which is going to make you more powerful and stronger. Mm. Um, what other? So let's talk about what all uh, Prime Recovery and Wellness covers. Sure. Is so, that cool? Like, because we've talked yeah. a lot about, you know, testosterone and stuff, and I feel like that that was something. I, I get a lot of comments. People are like, "Oh, this guy's on steroids," <laughs> and it's first thing they always want to say because they don't understand. Number one and. I would never take steroids. And number two, they don't they don't get how this works. They're uneducated. Yeah. They have mm. no idea what they're talking about. Sure. So I want to cover that because I think a lot of people need to understand that. That this is very common. It's a magical thing for anybody. It's ultra healthy. It's for men and women. And it can ch- it changes a thousand things in your life all at one time. Right. Um, but what else do you guys do? Like from weight loss to everything? Like let's just cover like a full medicine cabinet. If somebody was gonna click the link below, like like what are some other things that you guys do? Because everybody's sure. different. So our brick and mortar locations offer more in-person services, but our online telehealth yeah. is going to primarily be hormone therapy, which is TRT mm-hmm. and HRT for females, and then uh, Medical weight loss, okay. you know, semaglutide, Ozempic, stuff like what, that. What is medical weight loss? Can you tell us? Like if somebody's watching this, they're 50 pounds overweight, okay, sure. just hypothetically. What, what what does that mean for them? So, Like timeline, what does that look like? like yeah, so it was originally, the, the GLP-1 was originally developed for uh, diabetes. Uh-huh. So it's, it regulates your insulin sensitivity. Um, but they've come to find out that it has a really strong effect on weight loss as well as cardiovascular health, right? Mm. Um, but, you know, what it does is it, correct me if I'm wrong, it slows down the digestion process. Mm-hmm. And so you're not as hungry as often, um, and the metabolize a little better. But Chris handles a lot of the medical weight loss stuff too. So mm-hmm. what do you think on that? So is, that a, is that a pill, Chris? Like, it's, it's injectable. We start okay. with injectable form, and then when some patients, after they complete the uh, cycle of multiple weeks of injections, mm-hmm. we can go to more of a, a dissolvable tablet that you can take, okay. yeah. kind of Got as it. a maintenance dose. Okay. So, so there's no surgery involved? No surgery. There's none, all right, so what happens? If I'm 50 pounds overweight, I come to you, mm-hmm. um, what, what does that look like? So again, it's blood work. Uh-huh. We're going to check you out and make sure you don't have any contraindications to utilize the medication. What's the biggest issue is some issues with your thyroid. Mm-hmm. So as long as you pass through that, we get to start on medications. And there's basically a protocol that you go week by week of how many units of the medication that you inject. Most common side effect, GA upset, nausea. So if we see that you get that, we back down a little bit and see how you tolerate declining the dose and mm-hmm. kind of gradually resume as much as possible. But it's a process that you still have got to be involved in dietary control, you got to be involved in workouts, mm-hmm. but the medication is designed to help you along that process to lose the, the unnecessary pounds. Right. Mm-hmm. One thing to really point out about that is he mentioned you need to be training. You need to be doing resistance training because if you don't, you're going to lose muscle at the same time you're losing fat. So even mm-hmm. though you're not hungry, you still need to eat a healthy diet. Mm-hmm. Even though you're losing weight, you need to make sure you're retaining that muscle mass. Uh, yeah, and it's I, super important so you don't end up getting skinny fat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in Hollywood, you may see that some of these girls don't care. They just want to lose weight. But for guys like us or, you know, anybody, you don't want to lose that muscle mass generally. So mm-hmm. you got to make sure you're doing resistance training to protect that muscle while mm-hmm. taking it. Mm-hmm. It's not a 100% cure-all. You just take it and sit and back, And you guys right? coach people on how to do that. 100%. That's the way to do it. 100%. Okay. Yeah. And then the next service that we offer uh, for telemedicine is peptides. Mm-hmm. Granted, they're a little harder to get right now. Um, it's kind Can of talk about it. what peptides are. Yeah, Chris, you want to take that? So peptides are different types of uh, chemicals that you can utilize in your body to promote healing, mm-hmm. okay, uh, tissue regeneration, kind of aid some of your recovery process, but they can also then stimulate your body to to gain muscle mass as well. So mm-hmm. multiple different types of peptides that are out there, each one of them specifically kind of having their own process of what they do inside the body. Um, 
as he mentioned, you know, some are a little bit harder to get just on some changes in the FDA regulations. I do think that in the future that's going to improve mm -hmm. just because the benefits are there. Yeah, you can't deny patients the benefits of, you know, what's been out of the market for so long. Right. So you look to the blood work. Mm-hmm. And then you'll you can prescribe a peptide through that if you see it, it can help. Yeah, we we talk to you know each individual client. Say, what's your goals? Are you are you looking for weight loss? Are you mm. looking to get big? Are you looking for leaner? I mean, what what truly your goals? And then formulate the treatment plan from there to see what's going to work best for them. Mm -hmm. And then do rechecks and you optimize that care as you kind of go along to get them really on a steady stream of you know what their true treatment algorithm is going to be. Yeah, and people need to know it's we're talking about it amino acid chains here, mm -hmm. like two to 50 generally, right? Mm -hmm. And some are endogenous and exogenous. Some are occurring in the body. Some are you get from your food and then some we supplement. Yeah. So um, I think that they're kind of new age, but there's some serious benefit from it. For me, I like it for my recovery protocol. Recovery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've talked to you about this before. I take BPC-157 after my leg day training mm -hmm. every time. I'll take a couple of ibuprofen, and then I have a CBD roll-on with lidocaine. I hit that on my IT band, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it's excellent for recovery. It's good for fat loss. Good for, you know, even the BP-157, it's generally cell repair and anti-inflammation. Mm -hmm. But it also helps with the gut, with digestion and balancing that out. So there's a lot of benefits to be had, and I think we're going to see more and more research on this mm -hmm. as it comes out. So you got the, the weight loss, you got peptides, mm -hmm. you got um, TRT. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, those are the three staples. Mm-hmm. Yep. I love that. Yeah. And when you're doing the weight loss, how how much weight can somebody lose with, with that? As much as they want, or it's it's variable. I mean, you'll see some people they can lose five percent of their body weight up to potentially twenty five percent of their yeah. body weight. Mm. So again, you kind of go through those goals, and you want them to be patient. You don't want to have somebody to have a rapid drop too quickly because mm -hmm. that's going to cause all other kinds mm -hmm. of issues. So it, it's something that once you go on the treatment protocol, we're going to gradually bring that weight down while making them healthier. Right. And, you know, it's not something, TRT, you're on that a little longer term. With medical weight loss, eventually you get off of it. Yeah. And you need to have healthy habits to transition out, mm. right? So you got to make, you, you get your body weight down, and like, you start with a subcutaneous injection. And then when they taper them off, Chris will have put them on a sublingual dissolvable. Mm -hmm. Taper off, and then you got to keep your weight training up. you got to keep your nutrition down. Like, mm. those are never going away. That's, that's going to be key no matter what. Nutrition and training. It's crucial mm -hmm. to everything we're going to do. You can't give up on the program. It doesn't end necessarily mm -hmm. with the medications right. end for weight loss. Yeah. And your body's always going to be made in the kitchen, right? Yeah. yeah. Like the Gen Genetically, you're encoded to be somewhat of a certain size. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. you can go up or down on that depending on how you treat your life. We want them to treat it in a good fashion. Mm -hmm. That's why after they go through the treatment reg regimen with the medications, keep them on that good dietary plan and workout program. Yeah, so you've seen people in your 20s, mm -hmm. right, that have yeah. had, you know, came back with bad blood work. Yeah. Um, a lot of our first responders are in their 20s. Do, yeah. do you think that's because of, like, just high stress and trauma and stuff like that? Well, it's, it's, it's part of it, but I think also I'll see a lot of guys, you know, you know, that are in their 20s, they might have a testosterone level 450. Well, think about these guys, what they do for work. You know, a firefighter goes on a call. That may be a two-hour call. It might be a 12, 14-hour call. they got to have the strength, the stamina, the mental endurance mm -hmm. and toughness. Yeah. I didn't to get think through about that. that. So by optimizing them, getting them up to 900, 1200, they're going to still feel better even at that age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, our military guys, same way. And yeah, there's not necessarily a set number yeah. for each person, right? No. Treat the symptoms, not the number. Mm -hmm. You know, the numbers can guide you, but treat every patient individually for what their goals are. So, yeah, so there, because you can see all the health ranges, but when you talk to people after they start, um, you know, a process with you guys. Yeah. If they're still feeling tired, you'll look at it and you'll figure out what's going on. Absolutely. So you can figure out how to get rid of that. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's one of the biggest things that I see is that, honestly, dude, people are getting lazy, right? And I don't think that people are lazy like they want to be. I just think they don't feel like getting up. Yeah. And then there's no drive to say, hey, get up and let's go do this. Mm -hmm. So when the test drops, it's like people and, just quit. Well, unfortunately, society, you know, over the past 10 years has given us reasons to not be as active. Too many cell phones. Too many TV programs, mm. you know. As I've said earlier, get your ass outside and go do something. Mm. Get off the couch. Right. Well, that's one reason why I'm really excited to be teaming up with you guys. Mm -hmm. Because we have a duty to build strong men and that's women. Right. right? Mm -hmm. And the way things are going right now, it's not looking great. So it's our responsibility to educate them and equip them, you mm -hmm. know. And I think this is how it's done. we got to keep spreading the word and we got to keep taking care of people. Yeah. So let's talk about... Um, let's talk about your faith for a minute. Yeah, absolutely. You may say, 
what's that have to do? Well, I like that. You know, and when I first met you, you came to an event, we, we were jamming out, we kicked butt, and then we start talking about like core values, what are our beliefs? You know, I was kind of like, hey, what's your big plan? What's your big goal? Sure. And you're like, dude, really? Um, you know, this way that we run, this way that we feel, you know, like everybody in the world, they want that. But a lot of them don't understand it. They don't know how to get it. They think it's a gym pass. They think it's eating clean, mm -hmm. which are, those are great. But it's physically looking in the, mirror, in the mirror and just being aware of what's going on in your body. Mm -hmm. And you got to, like you said, you can't go to your primary health care physician and say, hey, I want to check my testosterone. There's a good chance that guy has no clue what he's doing. Yeah. And even if he does, he doesn't deal with it every day. He's right. going to go into a textbook. That's exactly what's yeah, happening. Yeah, because you guys, you guys geek out on this stuff. I mean, you guys see it every, I mean, especially you're the doctor, you see it every day. So that means that, like, you can see someone and be like, dude, I've seen this a million times. I know what's going on. I know these symptoms. I know what's happening. I know the way you feel. I know exactly what you do to get rid of it. Right. Yeah. Everybody's got to look in the mirror and hold themselves accountable and just be honest with themselves. How do I feel? Mm -hmm. Is this what I really want in life or... Do I want something better? Mm -hmm. you know, and I think we're in the industry here. We want something better for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. You know, not just for us, but friends, family, coworkers, you know, people that we talk to on a regular basis. Right. Well, it's, I, it's, well, I think that goes back to your faith when I was talking to you. As you're like, man, you know, like, I feel like I want to serve people. I want to be, have a ministry mm -hmm. um, through my business that helps other businessmen sure. and women. Yeah, I mean, I have other businesses. Mm -hmm. Everything I have is a faith-based business. But that's what's so exciting about this what we're doing because it's a, I feel a purpose in doing so mm -hmm. and I feel like it's, it's definitely God honoring you know we're here to help people live their best lives mm -hmm. and I, I mean for me I feel like I'm the one that gets the most benefit because I love doing it it's there you can't hardly put a price on somebody you see they've changed their life and they want to bring their brother and they want to bring their dad in that's it's a great feeling to be able to help somebody like that because it's so dramatic every person and I mean every, 100%, that clicks on this link below, number one, they're going to be aware. They're going to be able to look in the mirror. They're going to know their blood work. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to look in the mirror, and they're going to see what's good, what's bad, what needs to be fixed. And then there's options to play at your peak performance. Mm -hmm. And literally, that person will explain, these are the holes that you have in your game. These are the areas you can improve on. And now you know where you're at. Yep. And then the cool thing is, what I love is, you know, um, accountability. Like every quarter, I'm getting my checkup. Mm -hmm. Every quarter, I'm looking at my levels. I know where I'm at. Sure. Like I feel great. Yeah. I, I, I know what's happening. Um, I know what I want to do in life. I know I want to win. And this will change every single person's life that's watching this that takes action and does this. Because once they figure out what it feels like to play on their A game, mm -hmm. they're never going to want to play any other game in their life except that freaking A game. Absolutely. It's well-being, you know what I mean? It's so durability. Crazy. Yeah. You know, it may not extend your life, but you're going to have a way higher quality of life. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and dude, I mean, shit, I mean, I'm crazy to think, I mean, it has to extend your life. I mean, number one, it makes you want to get in the gym and work out. True. Fair point. Yeah. Purpose I mean, cardiovascular exercise. I mean, you are physically making your body better. Yeah, I, I was... I think a fat person who works out is more healthier than a skinny person that doesn't work out. Without a doubt. You know what I mean? I, 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 working out allows you to get away with so much. Mm -hmm. Once you're working out your body and you take care of yourself, like you can get away with eating bad food here and there. You, but if you don't, you can't get away with it. But you got to figure out, how do I get my drive to get my butt in the gym? I was, obesity in this, in especially the United States, has just gotten crazy. You know, go to an airport, go to a swim park, and just look around, and you're just like, dude, what in the hell is going on? It's everywhere. Yeah. And, and, I, and I love these people, but, like, they don't want to be like that. Right. But the deal is, is that either they're lazy as hell, okay, they've never been educated what food to eat right, right, or they just don't care, and everybody's saying, hey, good, dude, you're good just the way you are, man. Don't it, let anybody tell you how to be. Just be happy. That That's all you want to do. Dude, you don't want to be happy. These people that don't get their best lives, that don't get in the best shape, they're not happy. They're depressed. Mm -hmm. They look in the mirror. They don't like themselves. And so it's just like, it's crazy full spectrum how when you're feeling your best, how you start pursuing all these things in life that at some point in your life are important to you, that along the way, you've just given up one by one slowly. Mm -hmm. And then now you're sitting there and it's like, if it's bad now, I mean, how the next 20 years are you going to go? Yeah. Right. You know? 
this is so cool, man. It, seem, it, it just seems like the people that I see in their 60s, their 70s, their 80s that are thriving, mm -hmm. they're people that are all understanding what's going on in their body and they're staying ahead of it and they're playing chess mm -hmm. with their health. Yeah. You know what I mean? Somebody asked me earlier, you know, what's one of the positive benefits that I've seen in doing this over the past several years? And my response was this kind of a negative effect, unfortunately, which is, it sounds weird, but because of the extensive blood testing it's done, people coming into us with symptoms, we've caught cancers, prostate mm. cancers, thyroid cancers. How long would those have gone, gone undiagnosed mm -hmm. that could have really led to a bad situation? Yeah. So it's, it's when I get that unfortunate call from one of the nurse practitioners or I'm looking at it myself, it's like, you know, he almost drops in tears thinking, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta tell this patient something really bad. And they came in here to talk about, you know, testosterone therapy. Mm -hmm. But in the end, they're so much more thankful about you might have just saved their darn life. You were damn right you did. Yeah. You know. So, and then they come right back as soon as they got whatever they needed to take care of, you know, mm -hmm. and say, what do I need to do now? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be hard to reach the people who just don't want to be helped. But the people who are watching your podcast are looking for an edge, right? Yeah, every so, one of them looking for an edge. That's the thing. So you have the resource. We're the resource. Mm -hmm. We got it. Let us know how we can help you, when we can help you. We'll make it happen. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. Guys, so from peptides... Super important if you understand it. You guys can click the link below, give them some information. From medical weight loss, that means I'm 50 and I'm 100 pounds overweight. No big deal, okay? I mean, that's what happens. These guys fix that. Um, click the link below. They'll take care of that. Your best game, being hungry, staying fired up, winning and kicking ass. You know, keeping the biggest thing is keeping that edge. Mm -hmm. People are losing that edge. There's a lot of people that are watching this that are between 30 to 45 years old. Those are the most dangerous ones to be in because a lot of those have kids, they have families, they're not too old yet. And honestly, they know something's wrong, but they just don't know where to start. They don't know where to go. And they don't want to walk into a medical place and be like, hey, check me out. For what? I feel tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how much are you sleeping? It's like, they're not going to do it right. It doesn't happen right. That's not where you go. And they say, well, I got a clinic around me that's a hormone clinic. You don't know anything about these people. I will tell you guys, these guys are the legit, they're the, they're the best. They take care of my stuff. They take care of the Elliott Army team. They take care of tons of people all around the world. This is your time to figure out what's going on. Don't, don't walk around blind. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. If you're drowning and there's a lifeboat coming by, it's like you got to swim towards it. And I would say start by doing one simple thing. Click on the link below. Go set up giving your blood, okay? Let them check it out. Let them go over it with you and then make a decision after they go over it, what you want to do. And dude, within, I want to say within a week or four days when I started, when I was 39, I was already a new person. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, the guy's like, in a week, it's, shit's going to be different. Yeah. And I'm like, come on, man, a week? What do you mean? Yeah. And then four days later, I'm like... <laughs> and dude, I was ready to go back the next week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. but I didn't have the, the telemeds. Like I had to go into the clinic. Sure. And I love that you guys don't make people have, that have to go into the clinics so they can handle this whenever they want. Yeah, we're going to give them convenience without sacrificing quality, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what that's it huge. comes down to. Yeah, it's just like, because I won't go to a doctor's appointment every mm -hmm. week. Yeah, right. Ease of access with yeah. us. Mm -hmm. One other thing I wanted to talk about real quick before we yeah. close out was... So yeah, we're doing blood tests, right? So mm -hmm. we can see where you're deficient. Yeah. But we're also rolling out with the DNA methylation test. Yeah, let's so, talk about that. Yeah, so the DNA methylation test basically tells you how your body processes things. And everybody's different. Mm -hmm. So nothing that goes into your body stays in that form before mm -hmm. you can utilize it, mm -hmm. right? And so this DNA methylation test tells you how you process certain things, how it affects your daily life. Um, a lot of it is epigenetics, meaning you inherited it from your parents. Um, so methylation will turn off generally or even on certain genes or sequences of segments of that sequence. Mm -hmm. So when we do this test, which I'd like you to do today, yeah, let's do it. um, it'll just tell you take the blood test, you take the DNA mm -hmm. methylation test, and then you learn how to supplement like a sniper. You really go at it. You're not just going to a store and saying, I think I need something. Give me one of everything. This lets you pinpoint what you need. There's no point in supplementing something that you're mm. on a, a good level at already. That's super smart. So methylation, right? A mm. lot of people, are just starting to talk about it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, the, the, the brightest minds right now are really leaning in. Yeah, I hear a lot of people talking about methylate, you know, methylation, 
you know, um, so when you do these DNA tests, will that tell you what's going on with your methylation cycle and all that stuff? It tells you really multiple different markers of just how you absorb different food products, chemicals, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. can tell you about diseases uh, yeah. that may be in, unfortunately, in your future, right. you know, that you need to know uh, just based on your DNA markings. Mm -hmm. So it gives you kind of somewhat of an advanced plan of what your life's looking like in the future. Yeah, and it'll tell you what you're going to pass on to your kids. Yeah. Carry what genes, what traits. Oh, is that what, right? Absolutely. It tells mm. you what traits you carry, like um, Alzheimer's, things like that. It tells you if you have the genes for that. And, mm, so you, you can know, figure out how to play, uh, pr like predict in the future what correct. you need to watch exactly. out for now, what you need right. to take care exactly. of. Exactly. Yeah. All from just a swab? Is that what that is? Yeah, so this is, so this would come in the mail. Mm -hmm. You would you take this and I'll let you do it. You swab each side. You roll it uh -huh. 10, 15 times on each side, and then we'll put it back in this tube. Uh -huh. And um, then there's a, the card that comes with it. So you'll register it. You'll mail this back in, and then this will take you to one of our platforms, and you can see your results. Mm. And you know some of these tests are going to be able to be customized too. Cause the one I'm having you take is really in depth. Mm -hmm. um, but if there's some things you just want to get certain, and so. They can take these at home. You can take them at home. You drop it back in the mail, and uh -huh. then the results are uh, uploaded to our platform, and you'll get your results on there, and then we can advise you in that's, regards to how they turn out. That's pretty crazy. It is cool, man. It's kind yeah, of yeah. Look how easy that is, guys. Like I just did that here with you guys, and by the way, you know you guys are here every month, and um, you know these guys take care of our company, they take care of our team, um, they take care of you know thousands of people all around the world. I want everybody to know this. Um, this podcast is something that's super important to me. Um, it's something that like this, this is going to save a lot of people's lives. This is going to change a lot of people's lives. I'm going to create a lot of millionaires, not from my sales training, but just by getting people fired back up to live life. I'm going to save a lot of marriage. Yeah, marriage is not by my sales training, but so that you guys can actually start reproving yourself to each other every day. Cause your drive is going to go through the roof. Yeah. A lot of kids are going to be grateful because they're going to get their mom or dad back. Okay, and then lastly, I think that, you know, we'll finish with just looking in the mirror and just, like, being proud of who you are, mm -hmm. right? Like, you got to like you. Right. And I think after time, we get older, um, just especially me because I'm 44, and you just look in the mirror and you're like, dude, I don't like me no more. At 39 years old, I just didn't like me. I really didn't like me. But now, the last five years, I love this new me, and I'm, I'm understanding this person. I'm understanding anything's possible now. Um, I'm mentally stronger. I'm mentally clearer. I'm, I'm just... I feel like I'm just, I feel like I just got born and I'm just like, son of a bitch, like all this opportunity and the whole time, you know, it's, it's been there, mm -hmm. but my, my eyes just didn't see it. And, you know, people say, well, you're telling me I'm going to take a blood test and I'm going to get my levels right. Yeah. 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 It's, it's magic. They're going to tell you how to be the healthiest you can possibly humanly be. And this, then it's this over. type of treatment can lead to the absolute keys to success that's unlimited. I mean, it is the it, keys. Right. It, it will yeah, lead to the absolute keys. He yeah. just nailed it, man. But, uh, you know, everybody always says, you know, ah, it's got to be too good to be true. Not, no, it's the truth. It's the truth. And you got one life. And if you're sitting there and if you're tired right now, you know, or you know that you got more in you, you know, your body's not changing the way it should. Low drive, sex drive. You know, be just being fired up, just wanting to be a winner. I mean, you could, t dude, you're just saying something's not right. You know what I mean? Like, as I get older, like, I see other people kicking ass. You know, I feel like that's not my case. I don't understand. Why don't we just start here? Just click the link below. Let's see where you're at. Let's let these guys take care of you. They're not going to, by the way, if you're perfect, they're going to be like, hey, dude, I can't do anything with you. Have a great life. You're amazing. <laughs> okay. But if they see something, they can let you know. And you can have it corrected and fixed immediately to play at optimal performance. And like you said, keep your damn edge. Everybody's losing their edge. So I love you guys. Um, number one, thank you. Yeah, thank I appreciate you, you guys. Guys, I want to tell Thanks. you guys something. Um, I don't. I, I don't endorse a lot of people um, except for people that just they have their hearts in the right place. They got a great product, um, and dude, like they're doing really good for a lot of people. Um, this is your chance. I told you resourcefulness. Okay, you need the resources. If you want to know the resources that I have, it's these guys. They're the best. They're the greatest. They're amazing. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be ashamed. If you think there's more, then you want to go make sure that you go and you connect with these guys. They will tell you where you're at. You can look in the mirror and at least know where you're at. And then if you're like, all right, I want to play my best. Okay. Okay, cool. Let them take care of that. 
and welcome to your damn new life. Okay? Love you guys. Have a blessed day. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Uh, next time we'll do it, we'll open the test on the call. Yeah, we'll go through your results. And then you can go over it. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.